فما الشاك بحبل الله والتابع الهدى ولا تاك بدعي لا علاك تفلح الحمد لله من وباكي بلا أما الحمد لله من سعر فلس أخي من I came a bit late to the trip last time left early but you know I was on my internship it's time to finish يا أخي من Time to finish, Akhi man. Unfortunately, he didn't pass the internship. So he had to start That's why I'm here again, Akhi. And, 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 right yeah, right and now, now he's taking his first step. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, 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 have to make sure that uh, we're here. You can see we're gathered all together as the brothers from the Rumba Challenge to watch the premiere today. And inshallah, the official premiere, inshallah. A couple of brothers are giving salam over there, you can see. Assalamu alaikum, Jed. The feature him and Ad got paid big racks, you get Oh, big money now, innit? Yeah. One, two, skip a few, 32, 33. They're better brothers, Zaki, alhamdulillah, man. And they've all come, thanks to the red behind the camera, but you can't show him. Blur's face. The brother allowed us the space to do a cinema room, to show the production that, well, I like, been out on a lot in it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm just waffling in front of the camera, innit? Yeah, inshallah, man. But yeah, man, this is what it is, man. Hopefully, you get to join the second one, innit? Assalamu alaikum people. A bit more energy, man. Come on, a bit more energy, bro. Assalamu alaikum. If I want to hear, man. If I want to hear. It's good to see all of you guys today. Obviously, a lot of familiar faces on the last trip. A lot of new faces. Inshallah, you all get to meet each other. And looking forward to all the new brothers coming on the next trip. And it's really good to see everyone that came on the last one. Alhamdulillah. Throughout this journey, because this is a journey, you're going to be watching yourselves go from UK, Heathrow, to Medina, Mecca, and then Jeddah, back to Heathrow. So it's a whole journey, and you're living through your past experiences. So I want you to just feel and try to reminisce as much as possible everything that you were going through and all the emotional roller coaster and everything that you experienced, and try and tap into that, inshallah and just reflect on what type of person you was before, type of person you was after, and type of person you are now. And try and get a sense of direction and see what you want to do with yourself, inshallah. But I don't want to take too much of your time, just continue eating your food. Um, obviously, this is a project, wallahi. I don't want to take too much time, I know it's a bit late, but I hope that I work on very hard, inshallah. And wallahi, I really feel like this is going to be something of khair for us and a lot of other people watching, inshallah. Um, and Let's just watch, man. I'll say like. Sorry to the top guys. I hope you're enjoying the premiere that we've nicely put together of the Omar Challenge movie, which has now been out for a one let me let me get out 40 getting the numbers up 44.5 thousand views oh 45 45, 45. let's round up <laughs> that's like the whole of london population of that yeah. i don't know they're, they're, they're bust, you get yeah. something like that I don't know, he's a doggy t-shirt, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, I'm bugged up. Alhamdulillah, we've reached 45,000 views in around a week. The main reason why I wanted to put this snippet in the video was mainly to show that it's possible to make good content without the presence of music and half naked women. Alhamdulillah. you got to repeat that one, Wallah. you got to repeat, they're going to hear it again. You're going to hear it again, and Wallah, it's... Hear it again, Wallah. And, and obviously, this is directs that obviously Muslims who have businesses and, you know, Instagram pages and they sadly, they put these things in, in pursuit with the intention that, yo, it's going to get, it's going to get more views and it's going to get more which is true, it will. But Hamza, we've shown you an hour's content does not need that. We don't put ads in our videos either. Just literally, we just dashed it out there. Everyone thinks it's a production team. It's just me, two monies, and a camera I don't even own. <laughs> so Alhamdulillah, man. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Well, like, that's, that's, that's literally something to say, man. So well, like, it's possible um, for us to make good content as a Muslim, as Muslims, and still get get traction. So, well, like, yeah, still compromise. That's, that's the main thing, innit? Just to stress on that point, man. Everyone wants to feed the algorithm, feed the algorithm. Go back to the bare bones, the bare knuckles of things. Just put out good content, Aki, man. Yeah. And like, man, what's, what's for Allah will last. And we hope that this is a means of khair for people. Inshallah, man. For the trip, for the media side of things and everything. 100%. But, long and bad, man. This is, this is the main man here. No, this is no, the main no, no, man. No, no, no. ML's price gone no, up no, now. Sure. Yeah. You try and please Allah yeah. and do by what he says, then he'll provide. 
Man, don't, don't displease your lord. Uh, now said, man, back to, back to the movie. See what the people have to say now. The movie. You see what we have to say. Let's see what the people have to say. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Absolutely amazing, mashallah. Well, the movie is fantastic. The whole thing was amazing. Inshallah, I get to go on to the next trip. I just finished watching the movie, Allah Mubarak. What a great movie with the brothers. Like, nah, I missed out. Because I told you, remember, I was trying to go to the first one as well, but obviously, circumstances couldn't go. But inshallah, yeah, I had to, had to slap that deposit in ASAP. Well, I, yeah, and especially after watching that documentary, well, I, it's gonna be sick, fam. Yeah, 100%. Bro. Yeah, honestly, Allah Mubarak, you were sick, man. Like, I was just saying to the brothers earlier, which other Umrah company or organization do you see where they organize a post trip link up with pizza and they get the brothers together and whatnot, but then they also have a, they hire out a private hall or a private room with screening their documentary, a throwback to the trip on the big screen. Like, it's not been done before. Uh, well, I it was, it was very touching. Excited to come next, next shit. You know, I gave my deposit already. We're there, inshallah, man. Uh, well, I was emotional, you know. Um, yeah, over 100 days. It feels like it was a distant memory, but then, well, I refreshed it. Like, I felt like I was back in Medina. I was experiencing what I experienced there. Well, I was definitely an Imam boost, and at certain moments, like, I was, I, I was kind of tearing up, I'll be honest. Well, I was tearing up, trying to, it was emotional, well, I, like, I was brought back there. The brother Bilal I've done an amazing job. It's been about three months, four months since that trip. A lot of things that I even forgot about, the feelings I forgot about as soon as the film came on. I won't even say it's a documentary. As soon as the movie came on, I felt the same feelings I was feeling in Medina and Mecca. Sometimes when you come back, you feel like you've you know, been tested for your dean, you might fall off. And just watching that movie made me live through that to understand what I actually came back and I needed to do. Honestly, Bilal, Allah Akbar, he did a good job. Man. Big shout out to Muslim Lens. I designed your logo as well. <laughs> You man, stay tuned though. Tomorrow, I don't know when this video is coming out, but tomorrow, that video is coming out, innit? Just tell them I watched the movie and I enjoyed it. Okay, good. Oh, sorry, sorry. I watched the movie, I enjoyed it. And like, I gave all my money to Abdullahi, my last savings, so I can go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he wants the cover boss, you get it? As soon as that movie came on, well, I have felt the Iman that I was feeling out there, even though I'm still in the UK. What are you saying, Abdullahi? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, bro. How are you? Alhamdulillah, man. I can't complain, man. How are you? Good, yeah. I'm good, bro. <laughs> and the best part of the movie was probably me and you, the group leader, going um, towards the Kaaba. That, that was emotional, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was emotional, man. Man. Like, One yeah. thing though, can we address what happened in uh, like the room where like a car came in the room? And you know what it is? I don't know what happened that day, but two of the brothers that shared the room with me that day, I haven't been able to contact them since. Like, <laughs> I love everyone's talking about brotherhood, the brothers made. I think two brothers abandoned me. Like I've been calling their phones, I couldn't pick them up. These two, alhamdulillah, you know, we're still in contact, but the other two yeah, yeah. But, you know, one I day. You uh, don't hold nothing against me. But next time, I'm going for Umrah, not a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> so Alhamdulillah, we had a long night tonight. We brought the brothers together. We booked out a nice little private setting where we filmed, we premiered our movie. The movie that they were in, the movie that they took part in, Alhamdulillah. And brothers, that could be you, man. We're trying to go bigger and better. That was trip number one. Trip number two is on its way. We're going to go even crazier. And we want you at home to join us. All the brothers, like, relive the trip, bro. Like, these lot came in. And they must have like forgot some of the experiences and they came and they were like just enjoying it, alhamdulillah. And that could be you, Akhi. Like I know you must be thinking, oh, who do I go with? Should I go on my own? Should I go on my group? But we got everything tailor made, packaged for you. All you gotta do is just leave your suitcase, put everything down and we'll lead you, inshallah. We Get even it. invited brothers that are coming on our second trip just so they can have a little taste of what it is. And they shook our hands. They were like, yo, wallahi, we're excited. One brother said from the moment he saw our first story, us coming up to Heathrow and whatnot, he's like, yo, like, I missed out. And he goes, I'm not going to miss out again. So he put in half the ticket money. Guys, so stop thinking twice about it. Don't let shaitan be an obstacle in your way. Come with us, man. You're going to get some. Uh, I can't lie, you're definitely going to get some. You get it? <laughs>